simplify the following completely. Okay, so this is one of those questions where um, you see we've got these exponents over here which have x's in them, but then you've got all of these base numbers, four, nine, and six. Can you remember what to do? Well, well done if you remember, we need to drop each of those to their prime numbers. And this is when you can use the shift fact method on your calculator. So for example, type in four on your calculator, press equals, press the shift button, and then you're gonna press the fact button. Now the fact button, um, it doesn't say fact on the button, it says fact just above the button. So look for that on your calculator, it might take you a few seconds, and you're gonna press that and it's gonna do this. So I want you to go do that for the four, the nine, and the six, okay? So for the four, it's gonna be two to the two, and then x plus one. For the nine, it's gonna be three to the two, and then for the six, it's actually just gonna be two times three. There we go. Now, what we are gonna do next is we are gonna go and multiply these exponents, because remember, what is this? What would this give you? Can you remember? If you say seven, that's wrong. Seven would be if it was like this. And it's okay if you said that. It's, sometimes we make these little mistakes, but what you would have rather done here is multiply. Okay, so we are gonna go multiply this x plus one with this two, and we're gonna go multiply this x with this two, and then we're gonna go multiply this with the one that's over there and the one that's over there, because two to the one is still two, and three to the one is still, two, still three. Okay, so that's gonna give us two to the power of, now multiply this two to both of those, so it will become two x plus two, then for the three it'll be just two x, and then down here, we're gonna get two to the power of two x minus one, and then three to the power of two x minus one. Excellent job. Now, what would this give you? A10 over A4. Well, well done if you say A6. So the idea is, is that when these two are the same, and you are the ones at the top and the ones at the bottom, then you're always gonna take the top one minus the bottom one. Okay, but you're not gonna cancel the A's out. You see, the A stays A. So listen up carefully. When you have a two over here and you have a two over here, you're not gonna cancel them. You're not gonna do that. Because just like over here, we didn't cancel out the A's. We just did the exponents, but we left the A as an A. Okay, it's a common mistake that learners wanna cancel out the, these when they're numbers and they wanna cancel out those, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave it as a two. And then you're gonna take the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. But you see how I put it in brackets because there's more than one term, okay? So you see what I did there? I took the top exponent minus the bottom, just like you did here. Or what was it, was it a four here? You say the top one minus the bottom one, and so that gave you six, okay? And now we're gonna do the same for the, the three. So you're gonna take the top exponent minus the bottom exponent, but the bottom exponent has more than one term, so put it in a bracket, okay? I'm just running out of space. Okay, and now you're just gonna go simplify. So you're gonna say two to the power of two x plus two, then this minus is gonna go into both of those, so it'll become minus two x plus one, because a minus and a minus, um, ooh, let's write that a bit better, becomes a plus. Ooh, guys, my hands are so cold right now, it's winter. Um, well, obviously at the time I'm recording this, it's winter, it might not be winter when you watch this, um, but whew, my hands are so cold right now. I should probably wear gloves. Oh no, but then it's difficult to write with gloves. Okay, let's move on. So um, with the three, whoopsie, with the three we're gonna say um, two x, now this minus is gonna multiply in, so it's gonna become minus two x plus one. And so that's gonna end up becoming two, to the power of, now this 2x and this minus 2x, they would cancel out, and then this two plus one would become a three, so two to the power of three. And then here, we're gonna get 2x minus 2x, which is cancels out, and then you're left with a one. And so what is two to the power of three? Oh, by the way, don't make this a six, why? But Kevin, two times three is six, bro. Yeah, but this isn't two times three. This is a two to the three, and a three to the one, so it's a little bit different. So two to the three, is eight. Three to the one is three, so if you say eight times three, that is 24. 